I think that's something that's so fun about night games. Here is what I ended up going with. I think it's so fun. It started raining. It is just wild with everybody in there. <laughs> Hello, you guys, and happy game day. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I'm bringing you guys along for a Michigan game day under the lights. It's gonna be so much fun. Today is our first night game of the season. It's actually our second game of the season, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along and show you what a Michigan football game looks like. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Charlotte. I'm a college productivity and lifestyle vlogger here at the University of Michigan. I am a senior this year, and game days are some of my favorite days during the fall semester so I'm really excited to bring you guys along and to go to the game and see all my friends and it's gonna be great <laughs> so like I mentioned today's game is a night game so we're gonna be playing at around 8 p.m. is when the game starts we're gonna be playing under the lights it's about three o'clock right now and I'm going to start getting ready I'm gonna go jump in the shower fix this mess and then bring you guys along for getting ready doing my makeup doing whatever I want to wear for my outfit we're gonna pick all of that out together and it's gonna be so much fun so let's not waste any more time let's go fix this mess <laughs> you were my best friend didn't care about those good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless to you guys while I do my makeup. I finished my hair. I am so happy with it. I haven't curled my hair in so long, but I think it looks really, really good. So because it's a night game and we're under the lights, I'm gonna be doing something kind of fun for my makeup. We'll be under the lights, so I wanna go for something a little like glittery and sparkly so that it'll kind of like catch the stadium lights and sparkle. I think that's something that's so fun about night games is that they're under the lights. Night games are also nice because it's not as hot as it is during the daytime. Time. We actually had our first game of the season last week and I left so early because I felt so overheated and just like nauseous and dehydrated because you're just like out in the sun, no protection, no shade. And Michigan doesn't allow you to bring bags into the game or water bottles or anything. Like you can't bring anything other than basically your phone and your keys into the game. So you can't bring any like a water bottle or anything to help like keep you hydrated. I ended up buying a hat while I was at the game because I was worried about like my face and my scalp getting burned. So one of the nice things about night games is that you don't have to deal with the sun beating down on you and it's not as hot as it is during the daytime games. Right now, this is the only night game that we have scheduled for this season. We have four games kind of like towards the end of the season that we don't have a time scheduled yet, which is always kind of strange to explain. But basically like this is the only night game that we have scheduled so far this season. Season. there's a good chance we might have another one but that all depends on like ratings and TV rankings and how we're doing in like the duration of the season and if we do really well like we did last year then we will have more like prime time night 
TV games, like 8 p.m. games. So obviously I want us to do well because I want us to do well, but I also want us to do well because night games are so much fun and the better we do, the better chance we have at doing more night games. Okay, I'm gonna go for a look that I usually do. I really don't know that much about makeup like at all. I really just know like one basic look that I can apply to like a couple different colors. But we're going for a like maize gold eye look. And I'm not gonna spend like too much time on my makeup because Michigan games are really not like glamorous events. <laughs> a lot of like Southern schools, people get like dressed up for games. That's not really exactly what it's like here. Nobody's wearing like dresses and heels to the game, but people will do, you know, like makeup or skirts or like fun jewelry or something like that. But it's definitely much, much more casual. So that's kind of just like the look I'm going for. Let me know in the comments down below what sports you guys enjoy, if any. I was so not a sports person before I came here. Like, I didn't really care. I didn't really follow any sports or any specific teams. As you guys may or may not know, I'm from Maine, which is in New England. So my family just usually roots for the New England teams. We're very much like a Boston, New England team family. But I like personally never really cared that much. But since coming here, I have gotten so much more invested in specifically football like the michigan football games because like they are they're just so fun like it's really kind of like an indescribable experience like they're just such a blast you guys will see it once we actually arrive at the stadium but the big house is so fun it's huge i'm pretty sure it's the biggest football stadium in the world question mark if not the world then definitely the united states but it is something else if it's over a hundred thousand people which like, if you think about it, is actually crazy. So you guys will see when we get there tonight that it is just wild with everybody in there. Okay, there we go. This is the basic eyeshadow look. And then I'm gonna do the glitter dots above my eyebrows like I did last year. This is actually my profile picture were pictures that I took at this game where I did the glitter dots above my eyebrows because I loved it so much. But I'm going to do those, finish my makeup with blush and mascara and everything, get changed, and then I will show you guys my outfit and we will be ready to go. And we are ready. Let me show you guys my outfit. Here is what I ended up going with. I think it's so fun. Sometimes games are what we call maze out, which is basically everyone wears this color yellow maze because that's one of our school colors. And today is like an unofficial maze out. So everyone's like, kind of unofficially wearing mace. <laughs> uh, I've got this super cute white tennis skirt. This is from CRZ. I have a link down below if you guys are interested. Then I got this Michigan tube top yesterday at the M Den, which is like our Michigan merch store. Then I have this Michigan, it's like yellow and also says Michigan in blue zip up hoodie, just in case it gets chilly or continues to rain because it's actually raining right now. So I'm hoping that that stops before I leave. <laughs> then I'm also just wearing these gold necklaces to add a little bit of fun to this sort of area. This one is part of a set from Amazon and this one I got from Etsy. And I will give you guys a close up on the makeup. So you guys already saw the eyeshadow and everything. I'm wearing these pretty like pearl earrings that I think are just fun. I wear them for every game day. And then let me get in the light so you can actually see the glitter. I did these really fun glittery dots above my eyebrows that I just love. This is one of my favorite game day looks, you guys. I am so excited. But now it's time to head out. We are going to head to a tailgate to meet up with some of my friends and we're going to be there for a while. That's like one of the main things that people do before games here is you just go to a tailgate, you hang out with your friends, you meet some people and then you all walk to the game together. So we are going to head to the tailgate and then we're going to head to the game.
started raining. I'm really hoping it stops before the game starts. It's still like 45 minutes until the game starts, but we are on our way to the stadium. I really hope it stops because that's no fun going to a game in the rain. But I do have a hood just in case, so keep you updated. an update. So it is 8.30, the game got delayed. I will explain what's happening in more detail when I get back to my apartment and I'm not out on the street. I look like a disaster. I'm soaked. We left the game. The gates were locked. We, we never even got in. We left, we went back to the house that the tailgate was at and we were chilling and I was convinced that the game was gonna get canceled, but they actually decided to have it so i'm going back we're going to the game the gates open at 8 30 and the game is going to start at 9 and it is 8 32 right now i am walking over there i'm on the way to meet some of my friends and then once we all meet up we're gonna go head to the game all together it's gonna be great i almost didn't go but i figured gotta go to the night game so i will see you guys there <laughs> from the game. Took off all my makeup, changed into my comfy clothes, put my hair up, and I'm just gonna deal with that tomorrow. I don't think I've ever been to a game that chaotic in my life. You guys could see a little bit from the montage and from what I explained in that like middle clip when I was walking back to the stadium that there was just a lot happening. So the quick and dirty version of it, we were on our way to the game and it started raining. And at first it was just a sprinkle, it wasn't too bad, so no one was really that worried about it. And then as you could see from the footage, it got progressively worse. It was pouring sheets of rain so hard. So at around 7.30, about a half an hour before the game was scheduled, 
they closed the gates and they weren't letting anybody into the stadium. So they told everyone that they were delaying the game. And the thing was the amount of time that the game was delayed for kept increasing. So my friends and I are looking at each other and we're like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not gonna stand outside this gate in the torrential downpour for 90 plus minutes. So we turned around, we walked right back to the house that the tailgate was at. Let me just, in case you've never been to the Michigan campus, the big house is not that close to anything. It was about a mile away from the house that we were going back to and it was about a mile and a half away from my apartment. So when I say like, oh, we're going back to the house we were tailgating at, it was not a quick walk. <laughs> but anyway, like a half an hour later, we make it back to the house. We're drying off. I am wringing out my sweatshirt. It is soaked. Everything, everyone, we're all soaking wet. And I know there are gonna be people in the comments that say like, you should have planned for this. Like the weather would have told you it was gonna rain. Two things. First of all, don't comment that because I got so many comments like that on my first day of school vlog where I also got rained on. It must be really nice to live in a place where the weather is always right and nothing unpredictable ever happens. Please let me know where you live because I want to live there. <laughs> but here in Michigan, the weather is very unpredictable and rainstorms can come out of nowhere and it's happened a couple of times since I've been here. It's not like we knew, oh, it's gonna be pouring sheets of rain and we'll all just go anyway. We didn't know. <laughs> Second of all, like I explained in the beginning of the vlog, you can't bring anything into the stadium that's not like your phone, your keys, your wallet, very small things. So it's not like you can bring an umbrella with you into the game. So I don't wanna see any comments about saying I should have prepared better for the rain. I don't want to see it. <laughs> we get back to the house. I'm absolutely convinced that the game is going to get canceled and rescheduled to a later date. So I start walking back to my apartment. I am maybe three minutes away from my apartment. I have walked a mile and a half back home from the big house, from the stadium. And I get a text from my mom. She sent me a tweet from the Michigan Athletics saying, the game is on, everybody come find your seats. We're starting in half an hour. Awesome. <laughs> Long story short, it ended up being a blast even though we, <laughs> we had some unforeseen weather and delays. I quite literally don't think my feet will be recovering from this whole excursion for quite a while though. I don't know how many of you guys have ever walked around in wet socks and sneakers for upwards of three hours, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, I'm not sure if my legs and my feet will ever recover, but you know what? It was worth it for the Michigan game day. Anyway, I need to crawl into bed and knock out for the night. I am so, so tired. So that is gonna be it for this game day vlog. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. It was quite tedious to film, but I feel like it turned out really, really cute. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am planning on doing a couple more game day vlogs this year for my last year of Michigan football. I say that like it's not also only my second year of Michigan football, but it's okay. But that is going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.